Welcome to the June full moon, moon event. event. Yes. <laughs> my name is Matt with the, my co-host, of course, Darcy. Darcy, how are you? I'm soaking wet because it's raining like a monsoon out there. Yeah, gorilla monsoon. Honestly, yeah, it's yeah. I've never I've never seen rain quite like this for 24 straight hours. Yeah, there's so they were saying is there like people actually on evacuation warnings down in uh in Calgary um, right now? Like certain south areas of Calgary, of the city. yeah. And south then where my dad is just inside the BC border got a bunch of snow and they're under warnings as well. That's craziness. So is yeah. that the like the under or what not the underground river? The uh, atmospheric river? Is there actually like one going through? I, I would think so. I mean, I'm looking at 11th Street and there's literally a river running down it. So, wow. I mean, and we're, it's, that's the atmosphere. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Atmospheric river. Yeah. The, um, and what else was I going to ask you? Oh, it's super windy too, right? Yeah. We had wind and rain warnings. So I had to drive from the south side of Calgary to Airdrie, which is the very north tip of the city. Yeah. And, um, I almost ended up in the ditch. It was so windy and like yeah. hydro and everywhere. Like it was crazy. Wow. Yeah. Scary, scary yeah. stuff. Things you don't really think of like driving conditions in June are not usually an issue other than, <laughs> you know, I guess flooding is usually the closest thing. Water, water hazard, I suppose. Right. It's, and then here you go. So that's what you got or what I you hit, were getting. I hit one underpass and they were actually like stopping people to turn them back around because it was really? flooded and like there was cars Whoa. just kind of floating. So crazy. Yeah. yeah wow yeah it's pretty uh, that is nuts yeah we uh, we uh lots of rain up here in edmonton but not as much and then yeah you, well you saw the uh we had some damage in our backyard campsite that we've created <laughs> the tent jackknifed and it had like a heavy ass cot in it like we had one of those coleman cots and like a table like you know an aluminum folding campy table in there to kind of pin everything down and i went out there <laughs> and uh the, yeah the tent did like flopped over so somehow the heaviest area the cot had been tipped over and like the legs had all collapsed and it fell on the table and the table had been knocked over i'm like it seemed like how would wind do that but i guess you know what it was is that fly that's on top is like a sail it, it, it was like because when i was trying to push it back into place you yeah. could just feel it get underneath the uh the fly and it was just like <laughs> flapping around i'm like i'm just gonna take it down because initially i was just gonna like rebuild it or put it back in there and it was just like no it's yeah. Yeah, as I was doing it, it was like super windy. So I'm like, I'm just gonna put it away for now. So, so no. that was the we our backyard sustained some damage. Tent oh. one, a tent down. At one man down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we'll rebuild it for this weekend. So yeah, that's I guess the 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 weather tonight. I don't trust necessarily putting my water outside. Maybe I'll put it on the the hot, covered hot tub area. Even that gets a little bit windy. I just don't want it, it like blowing over pretty, and shattering. It's pretty wind channely in there. Channely, right? Here. yeah we're just trying to there oh and then it just vanished oh, so did i then, apparently so did you <laughs> yeah i just teleport away uh yeah there's really hard to get this thing to pick up that's my my special water container that you bought for me with the sapphire inside it you i just, I just I uh, let's see you got yours yes the darcy i just finished that book um mm -hmm. the secret or the hidden life of water which is all about the you know like uh if you put like a sign that says gratitude and love on your water container and then like view the uh, water crystals after you freeze them they're these beautiful you know uh sacred the yeah, sacred geometry type shapes and then if you do the uh if you like bad mouth the water if you like you fool you like insult it like dennis from it's always sunny you fool <laughs> and uh then uh it actually like when you freeze the uh ice crystals they get all like random and jagged misshapen yeah, misshapen and then when you ignore it it's like even worse somehow so ignoring is like the worst of the three and yeah pretty crazy uh story so now i've i've done that on our water jug at home here i put a post a note that's facing the water that says gratitude and love on it nice. so now it's double it's filtered through that with the gratitude love thing and i'm going to put it in the uh the mo special moon water so this is going to be a very good bitch and it's oh. our favorite as a couple, anyways, we might have individualized favorite moons, but this is our favorite uh, couple's moon, I think, the June moon, right? Because June is always our holiday. We've had holidays throughout our uh, time together. And Strawberry Moon, it was like around Shasta's birthday. That was our dog for the first, you know, leg of our ho or not holidays, of our time together. So Strawberry Moon is a big one. June, you know, begin literally beginning of summer is like 
right about to happen. 21st is around the corner next week. So a lot around this moon. What did you find in your readings about this strawberry moon, Darcy? You, you missed a really important part with the description of the moon. Oh. It's your favorite. Is it a... It's, it's a super moon. <laughs> see, I told you. You didn't believe me at first. You're like, nah, you're like mistaking it. Every single moon is a super moon. Every moon is a super right? moon. Right? No. It is now. Like, you, is. Now, you, now you admit it. You were skeptical at first. You thought I was like tripping, but... Yeah, okay, you're right. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's in like... <laughs> you win. Five you... of the six moons of this year have been super moons. Oh, is it cool. also a blood moon? It is not a blood moon. No. Okay, that's next month. It's it's every second one is a blood moon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I, I hope everybody at watching at home you won't be able to hear this in the pod. Well, you maybe you'll be able to hear it in the podcast. You might be able to hear that we're wearing glasses, Darcy and I. Which Can is you not hear you. our glasses. Yeah. Coming through the microphone. <laughs> so it's <laughs> not Neil. <laughs> yeah. Hey, couldn't hear the glasses. Yeah, no. That's an inside joke. And very few people will get that one, if any. <laughs> Three of us <laughs> yeah yeah unless like dan jenkins or mike hall watch this uh video which, which you never know yeah. mike is on facebook shout out mike hall yeah mikey Michael. flowers yeah mikey flowers. <laughs> and if he did watch it he'd be laughing his ass up right now. anyways we're anyway. off topic we're yes, off topic so the super strawberry <laughs> blood full moon no, no, blood. no without no blood. the blood uh june moon June moon, just June moon, okay, enough, enough. Yeah. oh yeah, it's another inside joke. Okay, so normally we talk about what the moon represents, what kind of energy it brings, yada, yada, yada. Yes. Um, I went a different way on this one because I kind of wanted to know, like you always hear like, oh, all the crazy people are out because it's a full moon. You hear that all the time, right? You do. So I was wondering if there's any kind of like actual like connotation with it or like yeah. um, like how it goes that way. So um, the article that I was reading was saying that the full moon is, or no, no, sorry, I screwed that one up already. The new moon, so like mm. two weeks from now, yeah. is when you're supposed to plan, plant, and manifest. So that's when you're supposed to like um, plant your or sow your seeds and all that kind of stuff. Because, okay. Um, when it's the new moon, that's when the sky is the darkest. You can mm. see all the constellations. You can see all the stars. It's nice and calm and peaceful. You can hear the wind rustling in the trees. You can hear the crickets. It's just a nice, calm, peaceful time for you to mm. set your intentions, for you to kind of plan what's going to happen for the next little bit. And um, yeah, just kind of put, um, just manifest, put it out there to the universe, right? So, which is what we do on our full moon. Mm. Then coming back to the full moon two weeks later, after it's gone through its lunar cycle, um, that's when things bloom. It's the release of energy. It's the celebration. Mm. It's the excitement. It's um, when the tribes used to get together and have their celebrations and their big bonfires and they would dance around and like thank the gods and all that kind of stuff. Right. Oh, okay. So there is kind of like a longstanding tradition of people kind of going buck wild when the full moon comes out because it's right. releasing all this energy. It's bringing the sun back into the darkness of the night. It's um like putting shadows on things that you wouldn't have seen before mm. um, secrets and new information end up coming out because people think they're hidden in the bushes like smooching and then they can see them from the moonlight which yeah they before um it's the celebration it's when the tribes get together and and it's when people tend to go a little bit crazier it's the party time of the month so. okay yeah. yeah that's interesting so in a sense starting like next month we should on the new moon have kind of like our intention setting which is kind of what we do tonight we do it all in one whereas in new moon would be the time to yeah do the pre-planning okay this one is going to be this theme so how does that affect us over the next two weeks and get your like moon juice ready then almost right but then what do you do after the full moon into the next new moon yeah, I don't know. It would be a little bit, uh, maybe we will keep it as one thing. Otherwise, it no, gets I, I like the idea of having the water blessed by the properties and the energy of the full moon. That's kind of where this all came from in the first. Yeah, time. that's true. Um, I would think that the new moon would be a good time to kind of reflect and touch base with your previous goals and make sure that yeah. you're still on track for everything. Make sure that um, you're still on the right course, or maybe you need to reassess and change the course or whatever the case may be. Yeah, that's true. Course correct and all that. Yeah. 
Cause yeah, there's definitely some kind. I like that idea. Like the, it's like the opposite, like the yin to the yang, right? The darkest versus like the, the brightest, where it's like the sky is yeah. the darkest. That's cool. I didn't even know that. Or maybe we heard that in like elementary school. Right. And you don't remember it, but that there's like, that's the best time to do like sky, uh, sky gazing or stargazing would be like on the new moon then. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's cool. That's uh wicked. Okay. I love that. Yeah. That's super cool. I'm glad. Thanks for researching that. So it is in fact, human tradition in a sense. And it's certainly bred into us in a, some kind of weird primitive uh you know neanderthal uh, part of our brain first of all it's pronounced neanderthal secondly <laughs> and so, it's like, so uh so it is somewhere programmed in there to like just absolutely rip it up on full moon nights i'd not i'm not going to do that tonight but you know no uh, yeah i mean that's not in our nature anymore but no it does like it does correlate with people's kind of erratic behavior and stuff. Like, yeah, um, it is yeah. bred into us that way. Yes. I didn't quite get in. I didn't have enough time. Sorry. I was working until late tonight, but yeah. I didn't have enough time to get into. I kind of wanted to see where like um, the tide comes into play with that one. Cause obviously yeah. the tide is linked to the moon cycle, yes. everything too. Right. So I kind of wanted to see how that correlates into everything, but I think that will have to be for next full moon. Episode. Yeah. <laughs> we'll remember July, which is like right in the dead of summer, which makes sense because we're bodies of water. It'll remind us, uh, you know, to, to look up the tide. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Thanks yeah. for looking that up. I looked up the spiritual meaning of, oh, good. Uh, of, the, of the, the, uh, the strawberry moon. So, uh, super moon. Yeah, this part of me, the super moon, super blood moon. Nope, drop the blood. The, uh, <laughs> the, what the hell is a mercury retrograde because i know that one gets thrown around there's a movie called mercury retrograde it's... that's when white girls with no strings want to blame their horrible mood on something other than themselves oh that's what it is no, okay. so okay <laughs> I, who, I have who will no be... idea i have no this? idea i just googled it who will be affected by mercury retrograde because this is like one of the uh the characteristics of this moon okay. other than being super uh, if you're one of the zodiac signs who will be affected by Mercury retrograde spring 2022 the most, you will be Taurus, Gemini, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. You might want to prepare for some technical difficulties in the near future. So it doesn't explain what it is, but it gives some cryptic remarks as to there, you know, might there might, and it has asterisks around it, be some uh, technical issues coming. Again, vague with the threats as well. So, okay, here we go. What does Mercury retrograde do to humans? Uh, Mercury retrograde could cause relationship challenges such as cheating, betrayal, or loss of intimacy. Uh, as a planet appears to retreat, okay, as this planet appears to retreat, uh, it may feel like it's all going wrong in your love life and bring up issues and arguments from the past. So that's those specific uh, birth signs so once again it's taurus gemini scorpio and sagittarius so we're both off the hook which is nice i don't even know what the hell like is taurus or gemini i don't know too many people that are any of those as far as i know anyways i know a few gemini's gemini's gemini means you have like two you're kind of like two-sided personality right the, the twins yeah are the twins yes yes i taurus. think taurus is the bull oh yeah that's right yeah scorpio is like the uh scorpion right <laughs> It sounds about right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Sagittarius is like a big ox or something too, isn't it? Mm, not sure. I'm looking it up. Sagittarius. And that would be, oh, that's the de the December uh, birthstone. Oh, that's like a, look, looks like a, uh, like kind of a minotaur. Like we know it was the, the man, the man body with the horse, or sorry, the man torso with the horse body. And he's, he has like a javelin. They call it an archer. The as, centaur? Yeah, the centaur. There we go. Thanks. Centaur. Okay. So, yes, it is. Uh, there's so going to be a wrap. So, sorry to interrupt. Yeah. We're in Mercury retrograde now. Is that what you're saying? That's right. So, uh, the big know. month for the stars, it's wrapping up in a messy Mercury retrograde. Kicked off with a serious Saturn retrograde. Oh, man. There's another retrograde. I did not get ready to Google that one. And we'll soon herald the beginning of summer. Okay. I've heard Saturn retrograde. Mercury, I've always heard there's like some cryptic attachments. Saturn, I've heard be associated as good. So I don't know. 
However, right smack in the middle of it is the June 2022 full moon, which peaks on Tuesday, June 14th, of course. Traditionally called the strawberry moon, this oh-so-sweet illumination happens to be a super moon. <laughs> Meaning it takes place in a closer than usual proximity to Earth and will be larger or appear larger than it is usual as a result. Understanding the spiritual meaning of the June 2022 full strawberry moon can help you squeeze all the cosmic juice out of the powerful lunar movement. That was uh, disgusting. Yeah, uh, the, the lunar juice. Yeah, I guess it mentioned that, moon juice. That's why I went away from this whole... These ones? They're kind of yeah, flowery. I don't right? know. They're just so like vague and... I don't yeah. know. I don't oh, really they, understand. I don't understand the astrological part of it very well. So yeah, I don't know not, if this is really our forte to be no, talking about. For sure, it's nice to to like get you know to get a little taster of it. Um, it does mention the free spirited Sagittarius, <laughs> free spirits, <laughs> and uh, free yeah, spirit. yeah. Historical nickname. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through it here. Keeps mentioning Sagittarius. Um. Yeah, and I guess into like the whole passionate Mars, a wounded healer comet. I'm not gonna really care that too is, much about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, how to work with the energy of the full strawberry full moon. Here we go. Spend time reflecting, which is just what you mentioned, on your goals that you've set up for the start of the year and take stock of where you are. And that makes sense. How it was kind of like a mid-year audit, if you will. Uh, re-energize and focus on larger scale dreams and aspirations. I do like that idea. It's like the mid-year report card. It's like the ending of the school year for elementary schools and high schools. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely got some, a good energy. Um, what would you, if you were to look back on, on this year so far for you, it's gone by very quickly for me, for both of us. And it's been very transformational for both of us. How would you like write or what do you want to say about the first half of the year, reflecting back on it under that idea? Um, it's been a whirlwind, actually. Like that January was like really kind of, it was good, but it was kind of the same kind of repetitive. And then I got my, my transfer early February. So ever since then, it's just been go, go, go and meeting new people and I uh, really enjoy my job all over again. It's kind of like a breath of fresh air into my career. Um, it's been a breath of fresh air into your career as well. So that's also yeah. gone like hand in hand, right? So yep. it's been, yeah, very transformative for both of us, I think in a lot of ways. Yeah, for sure. No, it's been, it's honestly been uh, one of my favorite like first halves to a year in a very, very long time. Um, yeah, just because, you know, so like the final month at Save On and then, yeah, I just sort of got into strong coach. Basically the last week of save on was like the first week of strong coach. That was four months, that business mentoring program or a little over four months. So graduated from that, gotten everything going with my, you know, with my, my new career. And um, yeah, I've done a few pretty epic things, you know, the plant medicine ceremony that, you know, men's group weekend, uh, it, you know, uh, Native American um, initiation type situation I did. A soy trip where we got our uh highway 93 drive coming up uh doing a county Alaska spa so yeah there's been some like really great stuff all around it's been one of my favorite years so far so that's uh i'm expecting or like so i should say expecting because that's uh puts out the wrong energy to it i am uh uh excited curious and ready to allow what is going to be the rest of the year and excited for it i really like that yeah i'm really yes. ready to allow yeah, the good times to keep on coming. That's for yeah, sure. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So, and you have an idea of what you're going to uh, put as far as intentions into your water tonight? You know, I actually, I'm kind of struggling with it this month. Yeah. Well, I, you always, uh, uh, you've mentioned, sorry to cut you off. You always mentioned uh, you've done it for other people uh, in the past because you're like, man, everything's going well for me. So why not, you know? I've done that, yeah, quite a bit. And even the person that I had put intentions out for, for a couple of times for the moon waters, all of her stuff has come true. Now yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I don't want to like poor little rich girl or whatever, but like, yeah, yeah. I just, it might just be one of those things where it's just a thank you water at this point. Yep. That's uh, that was a big thing out of that book too, just to, to go full, full circle with that back to that. They mentioned it's like, I forget exactly how it came up, but the, the equation 
is uh, like two parts gratitude to one love basically is like the most powerful. Like if you're more, more thankful, if you're thankful double the times that you're like, you know, feeling otherwise love, apparently that's like, yeah, like supercharges everything. So yeah, like if you say like, thank you, I'm grateful for you. I love you. That like double down on the, gra- the, the gratitude part. And apparently it's got like a magical sort of quality to it to like stack it like that. So that's a, that's out of that book as well. So if you're just, if you're just doing gratitude, then just double down on it and you'll get double the results. Love it. (laughs) Yes. Awesome. Thanks everybody. Thanks Darcy. And this is a, another full moon event. We'll come back at you in July and I guess happy summer, uh, beginning of summer. That's going to be a week today. The 21st is yeah. Next Tuesday. So yes. Any final words from your end? Uh, no, I'm good. Happy full moon, everyone. Mm -hmm.